We are on Forestry Farm Road, adjacent to an erupting abandoned gas well. This gas well in southwestern Ontario stopped operating decades ago, but still belches hydrogen sulfide and methane into its surroundings. Some days I can't even go outside without getting burning eyes and, and sore throat. We have this beautiful property we, that we can't use because there's, it's just seeping out of the ground into the swamp. There are over 400,000 non-producing wells across Canada. This researcher says the problem is much bigger than previously thought. I think non-producing wells have not been uh, a big focus of methane mitigation efforts thus far because active production emissions are substantially higher. In a new study, her team measured methane leaks at non-producing wells across Canada and found that methane emissions from these wells are seven times higher than Canada's current estimates. Hopefully that will lead to more emissions reductions um, and more development of smart mitigation strategies. Methane from these wells account for 13% of greenhouse gas emissions from Canada's oil and gas sector, according to the new figures. Experts say solutions vary widely, from more funding to stronger rules about cleanup. Residents living nearby want more urgency to solve the problem. It, it, it stinks incredibly. And then, of course, it is, the, it is the gases emanating that you can't see or smell, such as methane. They're having an impact on climate change. In response to the new study, Environment and Climate Change Canada said it is reviewing how it calculates its estimates for methane emissions from non-producing wells. In Ayat Singh, CBC News, Norfolk County, Ontario.